in on the end. <laughs> but, so unpowered human flight is the single most primal, badass fantasy that mankind has ever had. You see it in, uh, in hieroglyphics and statues, and uh, I would venture to bet that just about everyone in this room has at some point had a dream that they could fly. And tonight, I'm gonna to show you how uh, you can realize this dream through the support, or through the sport of paragliding. Now, on the surface, this talk is about the mechanics of the sport and how to get started with it. Um, but it's actually about beating gravity, and that's like the deeper theme under the surface. And by gravity, I mean those, uh, the forces that act on you, uh, the weight of the world, the things that hold you down, that you just come to accept. And I believe that you can punch through those barriers once you understand the mechanics, and uh, you can go right through them. So in terms of my aviation credentials, uh, I got started kind of at an early age. I was about eight. And uh, this is me, aside from my... <laughs> aside, aside from my love, of, uh, my love of flight, I had a pretty wicked fashion sense, as you can tell, carried through to today. Uh, this is me flying a remote control sailplane a year later. And uh, shout out to my folks who are actually in the crowd tonight uh, for letting us. Look at this. They, this, is me flying, this is me flying a helicopter underneath the Grand Canyon. Like when parents, when you let your child, your 11 year old kid fly a helicopter, you just created a pilot, whether you know it or not. So let's talk, let's get serious for a second. Let's talk about what's actually involved in getting started with the sport. So uh, paragliding is actually a lot like hang gliding, only it's with a parachute. And so the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna unfold your wing, stretch it out. Um, next thing you do is you actually clip into the harness, and this is what uh, holds you to the wing. At this point, you always wanna make sure you have a helmet on. You never clip in without a helmet. But look at your harness, check it out, make sure everything's good once you're happy with the way it looks. Um, then the next thing to do is actually to clip into the lines that hold you to the paraglider. Uh, so yeah, this photo is actually taken in Granada Park. Um, at this point, you're just gonna make sure that all your lines are clear, make sure there's no debris, obstructions, make sure just general like a look at everything pre-flight to make sure that everything looks good. Um, a close up just to show you just uh, those leading edge ones are the ones that clip to the leading edge of the wing. Those are called the A risers, you wanna tease those out, make sure that they're all untangled. Again, check everything, make sure it looks good. When you're happy with it uh, at this point then, with your back to the wind, you're just gonna tease the, the wing up just gently and it's gonna inflate. And it'll build this nice, uh, as you see, like a nice symmetrical horseshoe shape. And uh, once it's full with air and you're happy with the way it looks, then and you're ready to go, just wait for a good cycle and turn around and pull it up and gently just you know, use your hips, pull, lift the wing up above you. If it's flying right, it should look something like this. And uh, at this point, if you're on an incline, then all that's left to do is turn around and run. And you'll... <laughs> <laughs> And this is a picture of me down in, uh, in Crucita, Ecuador, and it's about five seconds after launch, uh, 300 feet above the ground off a of sand dune. And what's cool about this sport, uh, in the name of my talk, is you can actually fall up. Um, at all times in paragliding, you're falling, but you can actually go up. Um, so this next photo is actually taken a couple seconds later. I took it, um, it's about 1,000 feet above ground, and you follow the seagulls, it's crazy. You follow the seagulls and they show you where lift is. If you look way down there and you squint, there's actually another glider about 600 feet below in that picture, so it's, an, it's a really magical sport. Um, but at this point, I kind of wanted to uh, talk about the more meta topic here of just defeating gravity in everyone's lives. And uh, like I just look at like the track record in the past and what I do and the groups and companies and projects that I start, and I try to like tease out the common theme and everything, and uh, it's always been about trying to help other people overcome gravity in some way. And uh, so, <laughs> And so I've actually, so I've extracted some, uh, some lessons from the sport of paragliding. I was gonna share those with you guys. The first one is uh, you can't fight the wind. There's some forces that you just, you can't go head on against them. You can't battle them. You just need to learn to work with them. And it's all about how you position yourself and capitalize on, uh, capitalize on those forces. The second thing, uh, they used to have this phrase down in Ecuador. They said, uh, hace muchos años que las montañas están aquí, está aquí mañana. It's meaning that the mountains have been here a long time, they're gonna be here tomorrow. If the conditions are wrong, just learn how to pick your battles and come back the next day. And the last thing is that uh, you can't always see the wind. You can't see these forces at work. You can only see the indicators that show that these forces are there. And so you need to, to just realize that and look for those indicators and that will help you kind of uh, know what's going on. 
So anyways, that's all my time. If you guys wanna learn more about the sport, I encourage you to Google it. Um, I actually have my rig here. If it's, uh, if it's nice out, maybe we'll do some inflations outside. <laughs> you guys, best of luck. Best of luck at overcoming the gravity and everyone in all your own life. Thank you very much, have a good night.